Welcome back, everyone, to Nanalisa. Don, I remain your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And we're going to have another replay. Probably the last one for tonight. I'm not sure. But it's going to be Dr. Doom and King's Dad on Thornford. Just going through all the new maps today. So, Dr. Doom going for the gunship plant, and King's Dad is going for the Antplot Factory. So, Thornford, as you can tell, does have some water. It's kind of pretty, actually. Well, it's pretty in a dead way. It's a swamp. Actually, I guess it's not that pretty. I just really like water reflection effects. But, yeah, okay, so other than the fact that it's water, and the water reflects light, because that's what water does, it's, yeah, it's, it's a swamp. With castles. I hope you like swamps with castles. Because we got those. Also, I hope you like flying suicide units that set things on fire, because we also have those. Blastwing's coming in here from Doctor Doom to take out Kingstead's base early on. Kingstead basically having nothing to stop them. He's going for a couple early conscious, in fact. Kingstead... Okay, well, they're going to be losing two metal extractors and taking a bit of damage, but that's not... Okay, that's kind of a big deal. Doctor Doom, however, is building a bit more slowly. I mean, the thing is, King's Dead, yes, they're losing some metal extractors, but they have a couple of conches. They're already going for the reclaim over here, because this is a lot of reclaim. These ruins, 500 metal to reclaim. So it almost doesn't matter that King's Dead is losing this metal extractor. They are not that concerned. The metal extractors are nice, but King's Dead's economy is still beating Doctor Doom, despite the fact that Doctor Doom is the only one who has more than one metal extractor. The only one with metal extractors. Plural. But hey, get that picket up there, and it'll be fine. So, at this point, yeah, there's not a whole lot Kingstad's got to worry about other than just making sure to keep their economy going. Get those metal extractors back up, expand a little bit over here, get some reclaim, it'll all work out. Doctor Doom, on the other hand, they are going for some of that reclaim as well. Managed to get that wasp up to basically do the same thing. So the early blast wings didn't manage to do all that much. At the same time though, Doctor Doom, because of course they're using wasps, they can more easily get around the map, and that means they can more easily just reclaim everything. I mean, they reclaim all the runes around the map, whereas King's Dead has to worry about where their conscious are walking, so it's just that little bit slower. Actually, can what can't just walk on top of this? No, oh, barely. They can barely get at the runes over here. So, it's doable, but the wasps are going to have an easier time. Still, though, King's Dead at this point does have anti-air, and of course they're facing against gunships, and they know that they can just walk in and not do and not a really hard time. Or just use ducks, because these are gunships, not planes. The ducks can actually get in. The missiles will hit. That is a wasp down. That is huge. Bearing in mind, that is most of Doctor Doom's economy right now is reclaim. So, if any any wasp that dies is actually a major blow for Doctor Doom. But, that's... Okay, that, that's done. I mean, that Locust will be able to come in and stop that. A couple scallops will be able to take care of that, and that's exactly what King's Dad's going for, because they know what's up. They know to build scallops. Scallop on Archer. Bearing in mind, this is now 1612, where archers are not going to just stop everything else from firing as soon as they themselves shoot. I mean, they're still there. They still exist. They're not really considered that great right now, but hey, it works. Also, hello, Wes. Wait, that's not I just call myself a lobster. Darn it, Wesley Boss. You made me call myself a lobster. Which I am not. Where did that even come from, anyway? Why do why do people call like, people lobsters in 0K? Like, I honestly can't remember where that started. It just seemed to sort of happen. And it seems to have oh, it's like it's always happened. At any rate. Lobsters aside, as we don't have any lobsters in play, just conscious, which are now dead. Killed by locusts. I mean, lobsters could come in play. We could have those, but we're not going to be seeing them likely because why would you be throwing units into another part of the map when there aren't really a whole lot of cliffs? Especially when you're trying to deal with locusts coming in here. Honestly, where are the anglers? Way forward! That's where the anglers are. Not far back enough to actually help deal with these locusts. There is a razor in the back, which will help. Actually, they will stop them. On top of the scallops. All right, so King's Dad able to defend their main base, but their expansions are not so lucky. Unfortunately for them, because that means that at this point, Doctor Doom is winning the economy game and will be continuing to win that economy game quite handily. Not a whole lot actually stopping them. And yes, there's another conch going down. So with that, oh, this expansion over here will have a bit of a hard time. The conch is running away, diving underwater as best they can, but this water is not very deep, so good luck with that. And the con- oh, these- they are totally gonna be able to see this. Yeah, Doctor Doom will be able to spot this Lotus before it's built up. The Locust should be able to get rid of that, no problem. And no, of course, there's gonna be a conch nearby. 
Or not, actually. These per these remaining locusts aren't going back and killing it. Okay, I guess they're leaving the comrade down to die. That works for King's Dead. At this point, King's Dead. Ooh, nice timing from Dr. Doom getting the glaze up just in time to stop basically all the forces from King's Dead actually getting rid of the Air Force. So unfortunately, these anglers will not be able to accomplish anything. Really? They're going to die. And they're going to die slowly. Especially this one over here that's healing up gradually. Well, I mean, at least there's only two locusts left. And at least it's not like King's Dead was playing against anti like playing anti air all day. I mean they got scallops, which they work scallops work well against locusts, but they also work well against glaives. So it's still a good army. Like King's Dead's gonna be able to they they've transitioned fine. I mean the only downside of course is trying to deal with trying to deal with the remaining two locusts, which they King's Dead could use another Wrangler. But at this point, the fact that the locusts are very nearly dead is still enough. Oh wow, okay, so archers are not that weak. We just saw getting rid of that glaive here. I mean, a bit of a lucky shot, and there is an angle here to help, to help out, but still, a bit of a lucky shot in the glaive. Looked like it just got off in a curve in the ground, but... I don't know, that ground's pretty flat, actually. Nope, that ground is very flat. Okay, never mind. Just a good shot there. It's a very good shot. And, of course, ducks against... Ducks against gunships. Ducks do well against gunships. They don't do well against planes, but gunships do not move anywhere near as much as planes do. So, totally different story. Same time, the sites could be a bit of a problem, but the archers will be able to stop them. Like, as soon as they reveal themselves, the archers will just push them away. See? No problems at all. Push them away, and then from there, the ducks can help take care of everything else. So, at this point, King's Dad is still doing quite well for themselves. On top of the fact that Dr. Jim, why are you putting your metal wind generator so close to the death explosions will be the death of them. Like, this doesn't make much sense, but okay, I guess that that works for King's Dad. I'm sure King's Dad doesn't mind. It's just, again, I'm not really sure what the thinking is there. So Dr. Doom's switching over to a bit more locusts, which kind of makes sense considering the amount of ground forces that have come in from King's Dad. But at the same time, King's Dad was still prepared. They did still have the anglers, and which are somehow able to... Oh, I see. Try to go for the anti-air. Hit the clicky button factory instead. Trying to go for the locusts. That was a interesting little thing that happened. I didn't think it would happen. Normally things don't fire if they can't actually target, but I guess anglers are an exception. At any rate, that is still not enough in the way of anti-air to actually get rid of any of the locusts, as the angler was killed off the, by the commander before he was able to actually deal with the locusts, so Doctor Doom able to defend their base just fine, but King's Dad was also expanding in the meantime. They took advantage of that assault to expand, as I was hoping we'd see people do in the previous game. That is what I wanted to see. And not just expand, also to set up more reclaim. And getting everything around all around the map so that they were, so that these conchos are able to actually get that reclaim, get more metal, and King's Dad can use that to pump a bunch of units out of the factory. And a nice mix, too. Angler Duck on top of the scallops that have already been put into play. This should be quite effective at getting rid of everything that Doctor Doom has been building up. Like, just a few, a few supporting anglers is all you really need. If they can get rid of the locusts, which isn't a huge problem, the scallops will also help out. I mean, sure, there's there's these sites coming in here, but they're going to reveal themselves right before some ducks and some scallops get to them, and that is not going to be good. Not good for the duck either, because, of course, friendly fire is something the amp bots are known for, but still, gets rid of them. And that's where scallops come in. I mean, okay, the locusts do get rid of them. They aren't dedicated anti-air. But it helps. Oh, right, anglers actually have a really long reload time, don't they? Okay, maybe more than just one angler would be necessary for support. Maybe, like, three or four anglers. That'd probably do the trick. And it seems like Dr. Doom has caught wise to that because they are going pretty heavy on the locusts. While at the same time, the anglers are having a bit of a tough time actually holding on here. I mean, the scallops, again, can help, but they're kind of trapped between getting rid of the scythes and getting rid of the locusts. But given that the scythes are somewhat out of the way now, that may not be a problem anymore. Again, Scalp's getting rid of more Locusts, and actually, I think enough Locusts that should be able to get rid of the entire lot. Yeah, that's it. The Locusts are done. I mean, Scythe's coming in to try to help out, but it's not enough. That is definitely not enough. And unfortunately, the Conch will likely go down, but even then, that is still a lot of Locusts for a single Conch, and the amount of Reclaim that's allowed for, that's, what, 1,000 Reclaim? Yeah, 1,000 Metal Reclaim off that battle alone, entirely in King's Dad's territory, and King's Dad's going for it immediately. I love that. Very glad to see that. 
And for the amount of times I complain about people not reclaiming, it's great to see when someone immediately goes for the reclaim. Because that is exactly right. Good job, King's Dead. So at this point, Kingstad's got the entire south side of the map. They are accessing a little bit. I'm not entirely sure why either, because they... And they have... Okay, east all, that's, that's why. I was to say, they have got quite a lot of stuff, but no, it's the east all. Looks like a bit of reliance on wind generators that aren't tidal generators was the difference maker there. But now, Kingstad's got that handled. I mean, they have enough build power that they should be able to use 40 metal. No problem. And indeed they do, and Doctor Doom is well aware of that as well. Dodge Doom switching over to pretty much pure ground force. Cloaky, uh, sorry, Glaive and Reaver. A pure Glaive Reaver to help get rid of this. While at the same time, Locust coming in here for King's Dead, just because why not? I mean, if it works, might as well go for it. Of course, that will mean that we're seeing Dodge Doom already going for Razors immediately on reaction, which is kind of what you got to do. But they also already have Reavers, which as much as I was singing the praises of Scallops as an anti-Locust force, Reavers, that's the real anti-Locust force. Because that's, I mean, high, ra they're rapid fire, spread damage, they're reasonably tanky, not that tanky, but locusts take a little while to kill them, and they're quite cheap. So, yeah, they're not a bad force to get rid of locusts. And only locusts. I mean, if we started to see harpies come out, the, they'd be dead. The reavers would have no chance. But against locusts, yeah, it works. And there are harpies, however, on the way. That is, that is part of the plan. Still, though, for now, it's actually working out all right. These Reavers should be able to get rid of the entire force in the south here. Bit of a shame that they're in a line. I don't... All right, Doctor Doom does not line move. Doctor Doom, if you want to do well in this game, learn to line move. If you're watching this, line move is like the one thing they're not doing right because their forces are just getting clumped up or in single file or whatever else that's causing them to just get killed because they're going in single file. And that's never what you want to do in an RTS game because units single file cannot shoot as effectively. Like, even in games that don't have line of sight as a mechanic, but 0k has line of sight as a mechanic. If units cannot see through each other, they cannot shoot through each other, and so they won't. That's actually a really important part of this game. And I'm sure Dr. Doom is aware of that. I just don't know why I don't line move. Just drag. Click drag. Drag, 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 drag. Super easy to line move. I don't know. It's super easy, and it would probably save a lot of their forces. Like, they'd, they'd be losing, like, probably 20% less metal just by line moving just by keeping their forces reasonably close, reasonably spread out in the direction they're moving, like perpendicular to the direction they're moving, so if they're going this way, they spread out this way. I mean, those those Reavers would have wiped out the entire force in the south, losing, I think, none of their number. But, oh well. That's how it goes. Kingstad able to take care of the eastern expansion. Getting rid of that stinger is the main thing. The Locusts will be a bit of a problem, but having gotten rid of the Builder, just get rid of everything else. Don't even worry about it. I think two or three Locusts have gone down. Considering the tridents are there too, that's not bad. Very efficient use of Locust from Kingstead. And once they're done, running away. Kingstead will be able to use that time to help just reclaim, rebuild all this stuff over here. They did lose some expansion to that Reaver Assault. But at the same time, it's going to be a bit of a problem. And yeah, you know, Aurelia's pointing out there's surprised that those spiders in this match. Like, yeah, that actually is kind of surprising. This map is not bad for spiders, but yeah, Doctor Doom did go for a starting gunship factory, which has worked surprisingly well, all things considered. I mean, starting gunship is not a safe thing to do. Like, you do that, and you're probably trying to go for just a blasting rush to kill or you resign. Doctor Doom went for the blasting rush, didn't work out, they ended up going for locusts, attacking with locusts for a little while and doing some harassment, and then switching over to ground, basically at the exact timing that King's Dead's anglers got to their base. So, Doctor Doom has actually been playing this remarkably well, considering that they started with a gunship start. On a map that doesn't really have that much of a difference in air and ground rush distance. That is, a map that isn't great for gunship starts specifically. Not Ravage or something. If it was Ravage, I'd be, I'd be singing a different tune here. But with Thornford, no. That's, it was just a risky start that's actually paid off surprisingly well. But at this point, Kingstad has managed to just be a bit more efficient when it comes to raiding, when it comes to our economy. And as a result, Doctor Doom just has no money left. Like 20 metal per second compared to King's Dead's 50. Doctor Doom's Lotus Assault here is basically a last-ditch effort to try to salvage something. Which might be able to work, but not with the Stardusts. With the Razor, maybe. With the Stardusts, no. Everything I was talking about with Reavers goes double for Stardusts, because Stardusts are way tankier. There is no way the Locust can deal with them. I'm actually kind of surprised that Mass Locust has been Doctor Doom's go-to strategy for this entire game. I'm surprised they haven't switched over to Harpy 
or possibly even Revenant. But nope, pure Max Locust. And Stardust beats Mass Locust. Everything else, no. Everything else in the gunship plant kills Stardust, but not Locust. And with that, Kingstad's going to take the game because just really smart play with the use of all the defenses. In general, I mean, the fact that at the very beginning of the match, the Blasting Rush came in, did some damage. Kingstad reclaimed a way through it. And then once it got through to the middle of the game where we saw the switch over to ground, Kingstad already had scallops. They're already going for units that were reasonably good in general because scallops do an okay job against locusts, so it wasn't a bad choice, as do ducks. So the ground forces for Doctor Doom had a bit of a hard time. And then from there, it was just a matter of making sure to keep everything defended as you went. And of course, the use of Stardust only really worked because of the fact that Doctor Doom kept going mass locust. If Doctor Doom had switched over to Revenant or switched over to Harpy, the Stardust wouldn't have been able to do anywhere near as much, if anything at all, actually. But against Locust, Stardust counter Locust. This isn't Onyx Cauldron. Why would I? Oh, darn it, you're right. I. You know what? Forget it. Dying friend, you're exactly. You're. you're or, or Phileas, rather, you're entirely right. And I just can't even remember the names of things. I should probably just call it. Yeah, I don't know why I bother with the bottom thing. I like to show off where the map is, but I also forget to actually pay attention to the bottom text and say, oh, yeah, this is what the map is. So it just keeps saying Onyx Cauldron. Everything today has been Onyx Cauldron. I might as well just call this stream. Today's stream has been Onyx Cauldron stream. Welcome to Onyx Cauldron. The Dark Stone Cookware. I don't know. I feel like that could be turned to a metaphor at some point, but honestly, I just can't be bothered to try to think it through. Anyway, that is going to be it for me tonight. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And that will be it. So again, tournament replays are on YouTube. So you can watch those. And these will be up probably Monday or Tuesday just to give some more time to the tournament replays to be published all. So yeah, anyway, again, thanks for watching and have a good night, everyone.